morning guys welcome back to my channel today's a fun day we are heading to joshua tree for amber and brad's elopement usually we'll stay the night the day before but this time we're just doing a quick down and back because the ceremony is until four in the afternoon so I'm leaving now, it's about 9, I'm going to go pick up some flowers, and I'm going to meet my assistant, we're going to we're gonna have her hop in my car, and then we're going to drive out to Joshua Tree. So we're also going to make a pit stop at another wedding venue called Rimrock Ranch. Um, we work there a lot, and we have a wedding coming up in March that we are going to do a quick little like run through of the day, just my assistant and I, Taylor. Um, because she's going to be the lead on the rehearsal day, and I want her to see the space before we go. Good morning. This looks so good. So this one's for the arch. Yeah, that's the arch. Okay, awesome. And I put it in this box for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So. Oh yeah, and then cake flowers. Cake flowers. And then boutonniere mm -hmm. and bouquet. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. And then here's some zip ties. Oh, perfect. I have some extras, but awesome. Just it's pretty. It's pretty simple. So there's two. There's two hooks. So it's got, you know, it's got this handle. Yeah. And then there's another one there. Okay, perfect. So you can do it like at an angle. Yeah. And, it, and just put it through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Easy enough. Yay. <laughs> Fitting big things in tiny cars. Oh yeah, perfect. Just that. I mean, the bouquet, if you're concerned about I can, it, uh, sometimes I just put it in the front seat and yeah. it like a, and like my, a baby. I'm picking my assistant up so she can hold it the rest of the way. So you could, yeah, what I do when I have a tall vase, especially with the box, yeah. I just put it here. Yeah. Like here. Perfect. And then you can extra oh, secure nice. it like this. <laughs> Strap it in. Yeah, just strap it in because that's, and then you just run, you run it up slightly. It's like, your, to your point, yeah. it's tough flowers, so yeah. it should be fine. all cabins that guests stay in and then that's the lodge so the guests stay in there typically like I'll see the groom maybe stay in there and then there's a bridal suite up here oh nice and this is where I got married oh really yeah.
rehearsal practice, um, I always like to have kind of work backwards from what we're going to be doing. So I'll have everybody come up to the front and I'll line everybody up first. So I'll have the officiant, the groom, and then the groom's men if there are some in the party and then I'll have the bride and the bridesmaids line up and like this situation here we don't know you know depending on how many there are in the bridal party we may want to have the bridal party on the outside of the rocks so we'll just have to test that out um, at the rehearsal but I'll have them line up so that they know when they're walking down the aisle they know where to stand first and foremost because otherwise they're walking and they're like where am I going where am I going <laughs> So I think that'll work really well for them. Um, one thing I do like to tell parents, so a lot of the times during rehearsals, parents will be hanging out like off to the side and they'll think that they have to be behind the, their son or daughter or whoever they're related to. But I like to tell them to reverse sides so they can actually see the face of the person they know. So you get to see, you know, if I'm on the groom side, it makes more sense for me to be seated, seated on the left so I can really see the reaction as opposed to being sitting, seated behind them where I might see just the back of the room. So that's a little tip that I like to give people um, during the rehearsal. Um, now that I'm a vlogger, you're gonna make a guest appearance in all of my videos. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> what's that? I don't... hire her. She'll dance for you. This is how I take all my pictures. Like yeah. this. <laughs> With the times that we're having now, I think elopements are going to become more and more popular, and the way we offer our elopement package is. Uh, we include the arch, the triangle arch. We include a 30 minute uh, ceremony with an officiant that's official, at least in the state of California. Um, we also offer uh, two hours of photography with some of our photographers who we've partnered with. So we offer clients kind of three styles of photography um, and they get to choose uh, who they prefer and we contract them directly and then we also offer a bride's bouquet and a groom's boutonniere of course we're very flexible and if we need to provide two bride's bouquets or two groom's boutonnieres we will definitely do that too so this package is super popular especially for uh, our Joshua Tree couples we tend to recommend that they get married in the park and then if they are um, less than 10 guests then they could have a little airbnb dinner party afterwards and we will definitely help recommend some caterers for that but we typically leave after the ceremony Is this music for them or for you, Lauren? 
Probably from me. <laughs> I'm like not even taking pictures anymore. <laughs> enjoyed this elopement video I'm going to work hard on getting more behind the scenes of our upcoming weddings and events um, if you liked this kind of video please give me a thumbs up or a comment below and if there's anything else you want to see uh, in the next few weeks feel free to leave a comment let me know what interests you and I will make sure to record that for you guys all right thanks and see you next week